ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه واله وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله عز وجل وخير الهدي هدي نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة All praise is due to Allah We praise Him We seek His aid And we ask for His forgiveness We seek refuge in Allah From the evils of ourselves And the evil consequences of our actions Whomsoever Allah guides None can lead astray And whomsoever Allah leaves to go astray And I bear witness That none has the right to be worshipped None has the right to our ultimate love and devotion except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger. This is the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has allowed us to witness the month of Ramadan. And Allah has given us a gift at the end of this beautiful month, the end of this beautiful time of worship and devotion. And that is basically to celebrate the fact that we have offered something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have spent a month fasting for the sake of Allah. We have spent a month praying for the sake of Allah. We have spent a month reciting Quran for the sake of Allah. And none of this, none of this is our goodness. None of this is our excellence. That's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what we celebrate today. That's why we celebrate today. So the day of Eid, as the Prophet ﷺ indicated, These, the days of Eid, are days of eating, drinking, and joy. So we Muslims are supposed to enjoy this day. Don't turn it into a day of sadness, a day of gloom. It's a day of happiness. So enter happiness into your heart today, into your life, with your children, with your family. Offer them something special. Let them feel this special day of Eid that it is different from any other day. It is different from any other day because having, experiencing happiness today and joy is an act of worship. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed so many different acts of worship for us. Some of, this, some of them are physical, some of them are financial, some of them pertain to the state of the heart and happiness and joy on the day of Eid is an act of worship. Why? Because it signifies and symbolizes our recognition of the great gift from Allah that He made us Muslims, that He made us people who know our Creator. He made us people who would sacrifice for the sake of their Creator and thus living a life of ethics, a life of principle, a life of good morality, a life of respect, and a life of productivity. And that's what Islam calls us to. So I'm going to keep this khutbah very short and very simple. It's just remember that this day is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do your best to enjoy it in a way that pleases Allah without committing any sin, without doing anything haram. And some of the common things that we have unfortunately that are haram is sometimes excessive free mixing that goes against teachings of Islam. And also some of our sisters in terms of their hijab, in terms of wearing perfume and sometimes inappropriate acts. So what we would say, don't end the month of Ramadan with a sin. Don't conclude the month of Ramadan with something that displeases Allah. There are so many things that you can do that are good. So many things. So let your family enjoy this day. Check on your parents, check on your siblings, check on your relatives, on your family and go and visit them. Feed, make food, invite people over and have some good time. Go out with the family, have a nice day with your children, with your spouse, but do everything halal. Because real happiness can only come with halal. Any kind of joy that comes through displeasing Allah or disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will create a scar in your heart. So thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this day. And as you celebrate it and you enjoy it, remember your Muslim brothers and sisters who are less fortunate. 
who are maybe living in other places and not enjoying the kind of peace, tranquility, and peace of mind that we enjoy here in this country. So remember them in your dua and spread goodness, spread goodness. In these days of some hate and some prejudice, it's good as, way as well to show that beauty of Islam to non-Muslims, to our fellow non-Muslims, our fellow, you know, anyone you see in the street, greet them with a smile. Greet them with a smile and tell them it's a day of celebration. If you find the opportunity is there, tell them it's a day of celebration. I just want to wish you a happy day. If you have some sweets, you know, give them some sweets. Just share this kind of beautiful spirit of Islam. And as I said, I will leave you with one piece of advice. If you have done, you have worshipped Allah in Ramadan, you have fasted, you have prayed, and you recited Quran, what I would say, and the Prophet وسلم, as Aisha radiallahu anha says, كان رسول الله صلى الله كان عمل رسول الله صلى الله وسلم ديما. The deeds of the Prophet وسلم, used to be consistent. In another hadith, they said, كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا عمل عملا أثبته. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, every time he did some good deed, he would continuously do it. So he would not sometimes do things and leave them and come back to them. No, if he initiated something, he would stick to it. So what I would say, you have fasted through the month of Ramadan. So why not introduce to your lifestyle three days of fast every month. Fast the weight days in every lunar month. Fast three days. Add this to, your, to, to the whole year. So every month you fast these three white days. And if you have recited Quran and prior to Ramadan, you did not recite Quran, what I would recommend, if you have started reciting, if you haven't recited anything before Ramadan, that's not your, your rhythm. So what I would say, start reciting one page every day. Make it part and a significant, important, essential part of your day that you recite that page before you start anything else. If you were reciting more, I would say increase it. If it's five pages, 10 pages, 20 pages, but keep a daily quarter for you of the Quran to recite. Take your game one step further or raise the bar higher after the month of Ramadan, just by a little bit, just by a little bit, so you can maintain it. And then if you have started just praying Qiyam al-Layl and Taraweeh, what I would say, introduce two rak'ah of Qiyam al-Layl. Two rak'ah of Qiyam al-Layl before you go to sleep. Before you pray your witr, pray two rak'ah for the sake of Allah, even if they are short, five minutes. But make this part of your daily routine so that you have come out of Ramadan a better person. And the most important thing, the spirit of love and brotherhood and, and peace and love for Allah and respect you have for other people, I would say display more of it. Be more conscious on your daily life about your dealings with others. Instead of dealing with others based on our habits or our, our upbringings, which sometimes might be negative or rough, why not be conscious of how we deal with our, other people, how you come across? Why don't you start wearing a smile consciously saying, do I greet people with a smile? Do I meet people with a smile or with a grin? So approach people with a smile and remember it's a sunnah. It's a sunnah. If you have a habit of arguing and contesting and, and having quarrels and fights with people, why not make a conscious effort that from now on, if I get into an argument, I'm going to say, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to think about what you say. I'm not going to argue about this. Believe me, if you walk out of Ramadan with simple things every year like this, you will see that you will become a better Muslim consistently. And when you take one step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah takes a bigger step, step towards you as occurs in the Sahih from the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is a day of joy and inshallah the, the kind of greeting that the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would usually have is تَقَبَّلَ اللَّهُ مِنَّا وَمِنْكُمْ May Allah accept from us and from you the righteous deeds and this shows that our celebration today, our happiness today, our joy today, the point behind it is thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us and offering us the beautiful opportunity, the beautiful gift of Ramadan. And that's what our happiness is all about. So keep this in mind and keep the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your mind. Never cross them, no, never go beyond them. Treat your brothers with peace. And I hope as we depart, inshallah, 
we will depart with peace and we will greet one another with peace and as I said observe as well the rights of others so wherever you go don't do any kind of offenses in terms of parking driving etc let's remain as we are good Muslims as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be so I will close with the dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah accept our deeds Allahumma taqabbal minna Allahumma taqabbal minna al-siyama wal-qiyam wa tilawat al-Qur'an Allahumma taqabbal minna shahrana hadha Allahumma ja'alna mimman faza bilaylati al-qadri fi Ramadan Allahumma ja'alna mimman a'taqtahum fi Ramadan من النار يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم أبرم لهذه الأمة أمر رجت عز فيه أهل طاعتك ويذل فيه أهل معصيتك اللهم كل المؤمنين في كل مكان اللهم أيدهم بنصرك اللهم وفقهم بتوفيقك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وجزاك الله خيرا May Allah accept from you from us and from us تقبل الله منا ومنكم